Compass Hill, I get to leave tomorrow today. We really want to thank Compass Hill for giving us so many opportunities to be someone we are proud to be today. school we have exposed our students to various creative activities ranging from um, storytelling uh, students both internal and external they go for cluster schools and and all that they go for oratorical competition so I think we are exposing them to a variety of um, creative uh, activities um, I think if I'm not wrong the DNT they're having um, creative modeling English department we have English week we have storytelling we have debates we have um, oratorical and uh, we allow them uh, a lot of um, drama activities within the classroom. Within the class, we have periods for um, oral English, uh, where we call it intellect log on. There we expose our students to various mime, drama, skit, debates, puppet show. So this is actually to encourage them to be very creative, both in their thoughts and action. We don't want our students to be very textbook bound. We want them to explore, venture out and be creative in whatever they undertake because ultimately when they're out in the open world, creativity will play a big role. Now that today's world is so much into innovation and I think we are preparing and have prepared our students to a great length on this. Thank you. Okay, um, I think teachers here we show by example. As much as we would like to teach and then hopefully the students will follow, I think the best thing is by showing them a role, good role model. Hello, I'm Stephanie from Tech One h Today, I'm going to talk about creativity. I feel that Compass Hill Secondary School has given me a lot of opportunities to be creative, for example, during our DNT lesson. We were only given two pieces of wood to create a pencil holder. To come up with a pattern for a pencil holder, we have to think out of the box. Appropriate shape has to be considered as certain shapes will not hold after a hold has been drilled through. Through the process of experimenting, I learned that creativity is without boundaries. It's all about inventing, taking risks, and seeing things at different angles. Thank you.
believes very strongly in community involvement projects. For our students, uh, for example, they do beach cleaning, they go to the old folks' home, children's homes, they collect newspapers, and such activities um, develop the value of compassion in them in two ways. First of all, it helps them see people who are less fortunate than them. It helps them feel for these people, people who may need their help. Secondly, it also shows the students that even now at this young age, they are able to do their part and to help others. Um, just because they are young, uh, they may not have many resources, but they do have their hands, their feet, their own individual talents and skills. And by applying these talents and skills, no matter how small they do, they can be able to make a difference in the lives of other people. During our exchange program in Wuhan, China, we went to a village school and set up an English corner with the collected books from both teachers and students. I feel that the school has exposed us to the society working towards one of its values, compassion. Thank you. I'm talking about confidence here, one of our uh, four qualities. Um, confidence, as the rural barriers have shown, that they, some of them have no skills at all in the first place. Right? After going through uh, 
uh, countless training sessions with this uh, rural building school, rural speaking school, right? They develop kind of um, confidence, all right, instilled in them, right, that they can approach anything without fear, right? I think the most important thing about confidence is to try and do something, right? And and if you're trying to do something, really, and which is the most important part, right? It's not that you will fear that you will fail, right? Then you, you you retreat and not do uh, not do it. I, um, that's basically the confidence. Thank you. I'm Nandini from Sector H, and I want to talk a bit about how Cumbersville Secondary School has helped me to gain confidence. Before I was not as confident as I am now before you, but when I came to Cumbersville Secondary School, I was given a lot of opportunities to boost my self-esteem. Now, with just a day's notice, I can prepare a speech and present it to a large group of people. Some instances that help me to boost my confidence are the speech day when I was the master of ceremonies, being made a counsellor and, uh, and being the only Indian in a group of people that went to China on a student exchange program trip. Thank you. Uh, we, both of us are counsellors and then it makes me feel very honoured and makes me confident after being a counsellor. Um, we cultivate um, confidence and uh, in doing our everyday duties like uh, patrolling the school and so on. Uh.
my wish is for students to excel in their studies and their ECAs, and I wish them every success in their life. But as a teacher also, um, I need to question, why do I want my students to be successful? Is it just for their own personal glory? For personal fame and fortune? Actually, my wish is for students to be able to use their success, their skills and their talents um, to basically make the world a better place, to help others. Um. While we are providing pupils with solid foundation in the science that will prepare them for GCE O and N level examination at the end of their study. We also take every opportunity to expose our pupils to the new science, technology and development through our various enrichment, enrichment program such as authentic learning journey and science discovery project work. Thank you. I think learning is best done through experience. I think throughout the whole preparation for the opening ceremony itself, the kids have definitely learned what commitment and compassion is all about. As a teacher in charge of MPCC, I find that there's a lot of opportunity for our students to practice the four values of the school. Uh, for example, I take commitment for example. For our, our school official opening, right, I actually have a group of students uh, practicing for the precision drill. They had, they were they actually had to put in a lot of effort and commitment in order to put out a very good show. And even though it's just a few minutes of show, right, they actually have to commit themselves for more than 50 hours of training. And there were injuries along the way. But I find that uh, in the end, at the end of the day, right, they actually learned that in order for them to succeed in uh, whatever they're doing, commitment is a very important value.